Hello everyone, I just got my wisdom teeth removed, so if I sound a bit different, or if I have to run out of the part because my, uh, my, uh, what are those called? Uh, stitches! <laughs> That's what they are. If my stitches rip open and I start bleeding, I'll, I'll be running out of here, but otherwise, I'm actually pretty good, all things considered. I could be a really good, like, wrestling heel, you know, because I I'm obviously can take a lot of abuse. The dentist was even on my uh, jaw for about a half hour, pulling down as hard as he could. So, speaking of wrestling heels, you see what I did there? See what I did? I'm still on a bit of a Capcom kick from uh, the, the hype for Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite. And so, I did Mega Man X, I did Darkstalkers... I did Devil May Cry. So as such, let's play one more game. This is one that uh, I really had no reason or want to play until I watched a video by uh, Matthew McMuscles, a Super Best Friends play, called uh, Why I Like Final Fight. And I thought, wow, it's actually a really good video. So then I realized, wait, don't, don't I have Final Fight for the PS3? And the answer was yes, because there was a Capcom humble, bu a humble bundle for uh, the PS3. So... Hey, looky here. Let's play some Final Fight Double Impact. Now, Double Impact just means it has a second game built in. We're not going to be playing that game. And also, I'm playing it with a fight stick, as God intended, because this is, of course, an arcade title. Oh, no, it totally did the thing. Wait, is it still recording? It's still recording. I don't like how the PS3 has that issue where when you start up a game, the recording stops for a second. So I'm just going to have to resync it after this. But that's okay. I did not know this uses GGPO. Does it have online? Because if so, that would kind of make sense. GGPO being a good game play on, which was a sort of fan-based online system. Let's create a new save, yep. So, uh, out of all the characters in this game, who am I going to be playing as? Well, we know. So, oh, you press... Let's, let's see here. Join in progress, anyone? Invite only, no online. Wow, anyone can just join me? Is that a thing? So the two games that are in are Magic Sword and Final Fight. We're going to be playing Final Fight. Jump into the first available game, custom game. Well, I don't know anyone's going to be online. But that's okay. So we're going to just go new game. All right. Uh, the center of Mad Gear. Mad Gear controls all the bit. Oh, dude, it has the whole layout on the side. That's really cool. We learned of Hagar's plan, they took immediate action to bring this new mayor under their control. Sometime in the 1990s. It's ya boy, Mike Hagar! He's the best. That's who we're gonna be playing as. Because Mike is just... Oh, so cool. He's also in, um... He's in Final... Uh, not Final... He's in Final Fight, but he's also in... The Capcom Wrestling game. And he's also in, of course, uh, Marvel vs. Capcom, so we're going to be playing as him right after we see this cutscene. I'm looking at the side here. Continuous blows, backhand, mid-punch, elbow, revolving kick, or throw by using the stick. Okay. Death blow, press jump and attack. Oh, look at these guys. So, Guy and Cody are the other two. Um, they're both known more for, I'd say, being in Street Fighter nowadays, but okay, one player start. Creating session. I don't even know. Whoa, hey. Look at all those things. We're play as our boy Hagar. Let's go. I've never played Final I've never played uh Final Fight, so this is gonna be interesting. Okay, so we got jump and punch. Okay. Beat up these guys. Actually, like it's weird. Beat em ups are a genre that I I really I played a lot of them as a kid. But I feel like there's such a sort of forgotten genre nowadays. So let's keep going. Pick up the money. Pick up a napkin. So one of the things that I did learn about this game is that there is... Oh yeah! There is an unlockable. Yeah, do it! Suplex the dudes. There is an unlockable uh, episode of the Street Fighter cartoon. Which I think is the coolest thing. Pick up this stuff. Mmm, floor burgers. So we're in Metro City here, which is definitely not New York, except for the fact that it totally is. And I love that uh, New York even um, fuses with it in Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite. But it's kind of always been implied that they are, they are the same place. Alright, 
Look at these thuggeroos. So, like, it's interesting. I think Final Fight is the only game series I can think of where the, the thugs are so iconic that even they get, uh, get recognition in, like, spin-offs and such. Whoa, look at this dude. This is the first boss here. Or no, he's not. He's just the big guy. But, like, I recognize all these guys for sure. We throw the knife at them. Oh, yeah, you could do jump and, uh, the jumping, uh, the, the, there's air attacks, too. Didn't know that. Yo, that was damned, right. Okay, so. There you go, yeah! So, yeah, you want to get a lot of points, that's how you unlock stuff like these Street Fighter episode. There's the, the first guy. Wait. Oh, no, no, that wasn't damned. That was, that was, that was the, uh. I want to do the Lariat. There we go, nice. Though it does cost, uh, HP. Yeah, suplex him! Look at him! Wait, who's he whistling for? Look at that Freddy Mercury guy down there. Is that Relento? I think that might... No, that's not Relento. That, that's a Relento Goonie, I bet. Oh, we're down. That's okay. We got this. All right, in old school beat 'em ups, if you died, you would uh, you would get everyone would get knocked down. The one um beat 'em up that I did play a lot was a a Capcom beat 'em up called like the King of Dragons. Oh, there's Roxy. Oh, their names are up there. I never even I never even. So Roxy is a uh, Poison sister, which everyone knows Poison now. But oh, that was cool. Yeah, so their names go up there. I think the ultimate combo is like punch, punch, side. Punch, punch, side. Oh, we gotta continue. Yeah, we're gonna keep being Hagar. Yeah, I'll be damned. We'll be damned. Look at this guy. Round clear. We got through the slums. Which, you know... Oh, we're getting a lot of stuff. Okay, let's keep going. We're in the subway. Look, look at Slash looking like he's some type of, uh... Axel and Slash, I see what they're doing. There's Poison. Everyone loves Poison. And I guess, you know, of course, since Poison's in this video, everyone's gonna comment, yes, I know that Poison is, uh, transsexual. Like, that's, that's well known. Um, though it's interesting that in uh, both America and Japan, there are different stories. In America, it's post-op. In Japan, it's pre-op, you know? It's interesting. Because you can't have beat up women, but I guess beating up not women are okay. This guy's name is 2P. That's an adorable video game joke. Clear without losing nine lives? I can do that. I think. Yeah! No, oh, use the katana, it's cool! So this dude is uh, Hugo's brother. He's one of the Endwars, because Hugo's last name is Endwars. He's Hugo, Hugo Endwar. But, uh... There we go. No, don't drop the sword! Take it with you, my dude! Look at these guys just using the subway. Be a shame if someone suplexed you. Gotta... Can you do this combo in Marvel? The one where you just punch, punch, suplex? Because it seems really good. Okay. Oh, there we go, we're down. So I guess one thing that always confused me about fighting games as a kid was, are these, the, are these the same people? Or multiple, like, people of the same name that you're fighting, you know? But it is implied that it's like, yeah, it's the same people that you're just continually fighting. No, don't pick me up, my dude! Yeah, we're going to continue. Alright, can we just put in more coins? Nope. And I love how it's like, yeah, we put on the, the, the play online with people, but no one's gonna join us. Yeah, you, you can combo into your, uh, your jumping attack with him. Oh, the Lariat's so cool, and I am happy that that in, like, the Marvel games, they made it so that it does deal damage to you. I think that's a wonderful, a wonderful touch, though. Zangief, uh, who he taught it to, does not have that, you know? Oh, don't punch me. Pick it up, there we go. Get a little bit of health left. A little bit. Oh, the butt stomp. 
Yeah, you lose lives pretty fast in this, but then again, it is an arcade game. That is how arcade games go. Stop that. Pick up the knife, throw it at you. Nothing. Oh, he even does uh, his, his run. That's great. Wow, you lose lives very quickly in this. Again, tis a beat him up. Players can injure each other. Well, that's good. Good to know. I mean, it sucks, but it's good to know. Nope. Hey, get out of here. There we go. All right. Nope. There's another one. Or no, it's just him. A little, little more HP. Yeah, get him. I wonder if you can pick up barrels, or if that's a thing. Elgato, what a guy. Okay, so the big guy, I definitely recognize him from being in, in some other Capcom thing. Hollywood? No, maybe not. Maybe I'm just confused thinking of someone else. Oh, I wanted to get him. It seems you can totally, like, combo this into... The down. All I have to do is like, whoa, he has a slide attack. Oh, it's tough when they're when they're on both sides of you. Oh man. Yeah, give me oh the pipe. Oh no, I won the pipe. That's his that's his that's his his key weapon. Gotta pick that up with him. Cause everyone has a key weapon. Cody has the knife. Uh, Guy is the katana, and Hagar has the pipe. The pipe that's so good. It is the cornerstone of his move set in Marvel. What is this funky tune? Look at this guy throwing dynamite in a tunnel. That seems like a terrible idea. Oh, give me the monster hunter meat. Also, it seems like a bad idea to be on the track. Maybe it's not. Maybe it's fine. But yeah, so Cody can stab multiple times with the knife. Hagar can hit multiple times with the pipe, you know, so. And I do really like how they represented that in the the Street Fighter. Like, when you play as Cody, oh, it's Saddam! Or Katana, if they want to censor his name, because that's a really unfortunate name. This guy is just a massive weeb. He's not from Japan at all, and I love that. And we took one of his swords. Oh, but then you can pick it back up, that's cool. So Saddam, yeah, one of the members of Mad Gear here. Put in another one. Give me this. And interestingly, he actually does have two move sets in in the alpha games where you can play as him with a. Wow, he's tough. Plays him with the um. Wow. Okay, let's not do that. You can play as him with the uh, katanas or with size. Let's see if we can ultimate strat. Ow. Okay, no, that didn't work at all. He actually he actually waited right until I got done. Wow, this is tough actually. I mean, again, tis an arcade game. Well, we failed that one. Sword on sword, let's go! Maybe? Is, oh, is that a charge that he's doing there? I don't know. Yeah, Saddam is interesting. He's, he's probably the only Street Fighter character to not get out of the Alpha games. Like, he, that's pretty much his only... There we go, we beat him. It's pretty much his only, uh... His only appearance. Probably because of his name. It's really, really bad. <gasps> Yo! Bonus stage! Break the car! I didn't know this was actually in Street Fighter 2. Alright, I know this is in Street Fighter 2. But I thought it was... Oh, get the pipe! Come on, pick it up. Here we go. Let's go. Come on. Can we get the oh my god? Oh my car? Oh, I see it's not going there anymore. I think I screwed this up. Oh no, I did it apparently. Is he gonna come out and say it? No. Oh, wait. There he is! 
Oh, and this, uh, in the, in the uh, they changed that later to, oh my car. Okay, here we go. Oh, I recognize this song. Now, uh, let me take the pipe. Give him, oh, there's Hugo. That one's Hugo. I think, because it's Hugo's color. Yeah, the suplex is good because it hits behind you, too. Yeah, definitely playing this with a fight stick makes it so much better. Like, there, there's such a, such a feeling there, you know? There, you know what? This is... Beat-em-ups like this are definitely like the Warriors games of today. He definitely... It, it's not deep. But it's fun. This is what video games were about, you know? Break the door open. I'm the mayor of this town. I'll never get over the fact that it's literally you're the mayor. What do you do? Just beat up. Solve crime yourself. I deflected that with my abs. Elgato there. Doug. They all have good names. Simmons. Wonder, uh, wonder who... Who Dr. Doom's favorite character is, get it? Because Dr. Doom is played by Simmons and assi Assist Me. Y'all remember Assist Me? I need to rewatch all of Assist Me that, uh, now that I'm more in the know of Marvel, you know? Who's this guy? Is, was his name Muramasa? No, Kung Wu. No, Wong Hu. Okay. Hollywood there, get it? Because he's like a pyrotechnist guy. It's adorable. Just keep him at bay. With my sword. Bet you I could do like sword combos too if I go like down. No, maybe not. Come on. Come on. Yeah. That's it? Yeah, let's go. I feel like I'm rocking this. I mean, yeah, I'm dying a lot to the bosses, but <gasps> what happened? Just gonna break it open? <gasps> no! I, that was a cutscene. I couldn't do anything. Oh! <gasps> Oh, it's the Anduar family reunion. Oh, gotta get up. There we go. Pick up the pipe. No, pick up the pipe. Throw so continue in. I like how... I love... I, I do like these arcade ports nowadays where it's like, yeah, you have unlimited unlimited everything. Just just, just play, you know? I feel like that's definitely the way, the way to go about it. I feel like... Keeping lives in arcade games nowadays, or arcade-like ones, just leads to frustration in the end. Also, I'd like a defend button too, but that's the, you know, that'd be going a little bit against... Also, I lost my pipe. That'd be going a little bit against what these games were about, I guess. Oh, we gotta fight Eddie E here. This is a boss that I recognize, for sure. And... back in. Give me the pipe. Yeah! Poison's the best! What a great design on Poison. Although I just remember, um, when, when Street Fighter Cross Tekken was first coming out, there was a pre-win quote saying, like, like, you don't smell like a woman, and everyone was like, whoa, hey, that's, uh, that's not good. It's interesting how different games work with that. It is a touchy subject, because, like, th the difference in how it's treated in America and Japan is definitely, you know, different. In Japan, it's like, it's fine. I feel like, like, they're simultaneously more okay with it and simultaneously not. Like, it's, it's weird. Oh, this is it, though. Look at these guys. Look at Eddie E here. And if I recall, you can pick up the gum and throw it at him. Or eat it. I think I just ate it. Back in once more. And why am I not playing as the other characters? Because we need Mike Hagar's day out. I can't believe they made a Final Fight fighting game, though. Like, I feel like that that's so weird, considering, you know, Street Fighter was already kind of that at the time. Stop hitting me! I pay for you. Okay, let's go. 2P here. 
I really gotta wonder who's who's in charge of giving these guys names. Was it Capcom Japan or would I guess it would be because I think I think this would have been all in 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 English in the arcades because that's just how these games worked. It's really interesting. Oh, he has a gun. It's really interesting hearing about the um the process of like how in Japan. Yeah, it's like totally. Oh my god, that really sucked. It was like totally normal to have a uh, a game entirely in English in the arcades, you know? Okay, can we, like, head down? Is that possible? Get rid of these guys on the way. Oh, I want to just... It's tough to sidestep them. I've, I've always said that, like, sidestepping in... Oops. Whoops, didn't mean to do that. Sidestepping in, in, in beat-em-ups is for some reason really... I think it's the speed, but it's always felt difficult. Also, those... To be fair, I have broad, manly shoulders. I shot it at the thing. Oh, this sucks. Oh, this really sucks. Literal quarter muncher. Good thing it can hit the other guys, though. Okay, get back here. And, of course, now he's firing it mid-screen. Mid, mid oh, my God. Can I jump up? Nope. I cannot jump into and behind the foreground. Ha, <laughs> failed. Nice. Oh, did I get him? Yeah, there we go. Round three clear. West side is best side. Industrial area. Okay. Whoa, hey, fire. What sort of industry do they have in Metro City? This is really dangerous, I feel. I, I, it said dashing hero is the thing. I tried to dash. It didn't really work. Oh jeez, fire. And that is the exact same sprite from Street Fighter. Okay, can you not? Well, that sucks. Death by industrial hazard. Oh jeez. If I just keep avoiding it, no, they, they, do they get hit by the fire? I don't actually even know. Okay, wait, if I pick them up, can I jump with them? Because if so, that changes a bit. Oh my goodness. I'm being flamed, get it? It's a joke, a video game joke. Because you get, like, flamed on, on, online. Yeah, get them. Can I pick up the barrels? Is that possible? I don't think so. They can hit him. Why can't I? Oh my goodness. Let's get them all! Yeah! Nice! Bill, Bull, G, Orbeer, Doug, Jake, Simmons. Yep, they're all back. Into you. Uh, Andwar and uh, and Poison, Hugo and Poison, gotta get that tag team going. I I'm sure. Uh, actually, one really cool thing is every single one of these characters has a new modern design in the form of um of uh the Street Fighter Five website. They've been showing all the character designs for every character who could potentially be coming in Street Fighter Five, including like. Ruby Hart from Marvel vs. Capcom 2, who is officially now a Cap um, uh, Street Fighter Universe character, or um, all the characters from every sort of like like Street Fighter the movie and all that stuff. Like they're all canon now, which is nuts. Just got it. Oh, I was gonna say, just gotta keep doing doing the the spin as I'm low on HP. Yeah. There's, I think um, Beowulf's. Like, uh, from Skullgirls, his moveset is, is pretty similar. <gasps> I know who we fight here. This is where we fight Relento. Yeah, this is Relento's stage, all right. This was brought back in Street Fighter Alpha or something. Alpha 2, I think. No, there's Relento Alpha 3. Oh, uh, but we're gonna have to fight people on the way, though, because that's... Oh, uh, there he is. He even has his grenade throw. That's great. I gotta do more, uh, throw combos, though. 
Yep, yeah, Roxy and Poison. It was interesting that, that later on, Roxy, um, Roxy was in Abigail's story in Street Fighter V, and, uh, except for some reason they, they gave her the pink hair, which I'm like, wait, that's confusing. There's already a Street Fighter character who looks the exact same with pink hair. Relentless. I don't get that. Oh, because it's relentless. Okay, I was like, what? Wouldn't that be don't beat him? Continue. Let's go. Oh, change the weapon. Yeah, Relento. Yeah, Relento looks a, like... Like, a lot of these characters look a bit different than, than like their modern counterparts. But I feel like Relento is the one that went literally unchanged and looks so good. He gets the blue trails that uh, became known in the uh, Alpha series later. That's great. Let's knife him. Or not. Yeah, get ya. Cut you off at the pass. Still has his grenade drops. Okay, ooh, this is tough. I don't know if I can hit him up. Look how fast he is! This dude's insane! No sergeant should ever be able to be this fast. There we go. Come on, I hit him there! There we go. Nice. And he blows himself up. Round four clear. The Bay Area I'm excited for. That one's uh, new in Street Fighter. Street Fighter V is stage in the glass factory. It says break the glass, but I don't really have to. Oh, I guess I do. Oh, do I have to break it all? Seriously? There we go, just the last pane. Wait, what? That's it? Bay Town? Bay Area it is! Here we go! We're gonna fight Abigail! Look at this stage! So good. So yeah, um... This game and Street Fighter are in the same universe, along with, uh... I guess as of now, like, Rival Schools, Darkstalkers, because that's been con well, it, according to Udon it is. Um, what else is there that is in the same universe? Well, again, according to Udon, then it's Phoenix Wright, because there is a Prosecutor Edgeworth uh, in that universe. And Hegar actually calls him in at one point. It's pretty dope. Um, who else is there? There's, there's, a, there's a number of them. Capcom, I've had some people say, like, you know, the Capcom games don't make sense being in the same universe because they're all, like... <gasps> Puppy! Look at him! Look at the little yippers! He distracted me. What a good strat. Um, like, Street Fighter games, they don't share the exact universe, or Capcom games don't share the exact universe, but they're similar. Um, I think, like, like all the- oh, and, um, Captain Commando, which is another beat-em-up that really needs a re-release. Um, those games are all in the same universe there, but I- I like to believe that, like, every sort of, um, mystical type, or like, monsters and demons and stuff, I feel like they all share a universe. Beautiful Joe and Devil May Cry do, but then I also would probably say like, well then again, Bayonetta shares a universe with, uh, with, um, Devil May Cry. Like, that's super confirmed in- in those games, even though they're different companies. But uh, I like- I, I'd probably say Darkstalkers is probably a part of the- Oh, but then again, I thought Darkstalkers was, was Street Fighter. It's all complicated. Okay, so... Let's keep going. I wanna break all these. Yeah! Get all these- these things whiskey. Ooh, jewelry, watch. Look at all these. Necklace? Nice, nice. Point items. I can jump up on that. I didn't know that. Ow! I should have seen it coming! Come on. Okay, I guess we don't have to fight this guy. He's coming along for the ride. Or not. What's his name? Doug here? Oh! Drum cans! My one weakness. In every video game. 
I think I think it, it's weird because I think it's the other way around when you combo it into in uh in Marvel vs. Capcom. I think you go um body slam into no you no you have to end on the body slam. Never mind. You can do you can do heavy his kick this one into body slam. I'm pretty sure. Which is weird, because it goes, then you're going from heavy to medium, which very rarely happens in fighting games, but, you know, sometimes it does. Wait, how come there's two poisons? That doesn't make any sense. I take it back. Maybe they are diff just different people. I have, like, no health left. Let's not be hit. And I got kicked in the patootie. Yeah, no, um, I think in one of the, um, the localizations of this, they just replaced that enemy altogether, which was interesting. Oh, here we go. Look, look at that bathroom stall that would have been, been replaced because that's not appropriate for children's eyes. Beating up dudes with a pipe? No, that's cool. But having the word sexy on the wall? I remember when they said sexy in Fairly Odd Parents, a children's show, and I remember thinking like, how are they allowed to say that? That is that is a bad word. Turns out it's really not. <laughs> uh, that that word has always been allowed on children's TV. There's the list of what's allowed on children's TV is always interesting. It's not what you'd think. Pick up the katana. Yeah, sword into grab. That doesn't even make sense by by game standards. You'd think it'd be grab into sword, but nah, man. Yeah, Axel there. I think Axel appears in um, Street Fighter V Abigail's ending, which uh, if you haven't seen, and I guess I should say, like, the, the guy who we're fighting in the stage, Abigail, is the newest Street Fighter V character as of this recording, um, which is really cool. He's the first Canadian Street Fighter. I love my boy. I'm so happy. Yeah, just keep doing the combo. Pick up the chicken. Oh, I don't want to lose my item here. There we go. Oh no, they're comboing me. Good thing I can combo them back. I'm a one-man combo machine. Oh man. Well, that was a strategy. We'll just blow everyone up. If I don't get at least three hits with the Lariat, I'm never satisfied. Can't believe I dodged that. Yeah! all this stuff. I can't believe how actually okay I'm taking this section on. Hi, you can't get me up here, fool. Get out of here, Slash. Go back to, uh, Chrono Trigger, or whatever that band is that you're in. Isn't it? Slash is... Guns and... Yes, Guns and Roses, right, because he's in, uh... Mega Man X5. Capcom really likes Guns N' Roses. Um, the voice of Claire Valentine from, um, oh, come on, Lariat. Yeah, the voice of Claire Valentine from, um, Resident Evil actually was the localizer for, um, Mega Man X5, and she renamed every single, uh, boss in that game to be a reference to Guns N' Roses. That is including the fact that in the Japanese version, there are Guns N' Roses in the background of, of Axel the Red stage which is wonderful and a bit weird. Come on. These knife guys are the worst because they have unlimited knives and that doesn't even make sense. Sir, you run out of knives at a certain point unless you pick them up again. Come on. There we go. Just keep throwing them and picking them up. And I was doing so well at the beginning. Come on. I think you're, when, when you're throwing, you are invincible, so I should use that to my advantage a little bit. Also, there's only one left, so that's good. Okay, let's go. And, the, oh yeah, the, the, the starts a slow sunrise, which they do by just having the background scroll in. That's cute. Shouldn't have picked that up, but whatever, that's fine. It only takes a little bit of your health to do the Lariat, which is good. I know some games have, like, health-based super moves that take up way too much. But, uh, yeah, that's, that's good. And then there's the, the Statue of Liberty. You know, 
Metro City, which people have done the math, and by people I mean Matthew McMuscles, uh, Matthew McMuscles uh, this would make this New Jersey, which makes a lot of sense. Because, I mean, that's Joyzy for ya. I'd love to see Jersey Shore with the, the cast of Final Fight. That'd be wonderful. Getcha, getcha, let's go. So, yeah, lots of good stuff here. I would definitely want to try and see if I unlock the, the episode of the Street Fighter cartoon that has the Final Fight characters in it, because that's- Oh, there's my boy! My Canadian boy! Oh, that's his move, nice. Straight up. Um, because I definitely want to see it. The Street Fighter cartoon is such a weird piece of history that it needs to be seen, you know? That's definitely one way to do it. Yeah, I definitely see how they- well, how they- made Abigail who he is now in Street Fighter, although, you know, he's he's a lot bigger in that one. Not as big as he was in the first trailer, because that was a mistake on the editor's part, which is great. It's like, what, if you don't know what happened, they basically played the wrong trailer using his, his, his souped-up model instead of using his regular one. But yeah, this guy's Canadian. Like, and he's the first Canadian Street Fighter, which I've been waiting for for a long time. Now, there is another Canadian in Street Fighter V, but she only appears in the story and that's, um, uh, Maple Storm, one of the wrestlers in Armika's Wrestling League. And she's surprisingly dressed as a football player, which is a bit weird considering, you know, Kanda, more well-known for hockey. But I've actually tweeted at Ono a couple times, uh, the, the guy who, the producer for, for Street Fighter. And I've told him, look, can, can we get a Canadian based on, like, a street hockey player? And he says, like, that sounds like a wonderful idea. And then it turned out in some, um, in some art book that, yeah, he was toying with a sports-based Canadian star, and he couldn't really get, um, he couldn't get a hockey player to work, so then he went with, for, for Street Fighter V, a football player. And I'm like, did I, did I influence the creation of a Street Fighter character? I mean, it's probably not, but it would still be really cool. I take entirely 100%, uh, credit, of course. Abigail's Dunzo. All right, moving on up to Uptown, and that's about it. Oh, this is this is this the one that we know the song? Sounds a bit like oh yeah, it's the same one. I completed under 15 minutes. Yeah, I feel like I'm rushing. I'm being able to beat this game rather quickly. Okay, so let's keep going. Ah, oh, get get that penny, or it's ten. It'd be a dime. Confection. Confection country of the Ningen. Okay, or Ninin rather. Ningen would be human, but. Oh, look at this final level we're just walking into. Clear uptown without. Oh, hey. Clear without losing 30 lives? Okay. Okay, at least it's not too bad, because if I have to beat this without losing 30 lives. Then obviously, if that's an achievement, that says something about the design process of this game. I hope at the end it does say how much money it would have cost, because um, I know um, the Metal Slug games do that, where it says, "Congrats, you beat the game in however many coins," and then then you can count it up. It's like if if each coin costs, say, uh, you know, twenty five cents, you do the math and. Gotta keep doing those air jumps, because they're the best. See, so yeah, Cody and, um, Cody and Guy have more moves. They have a few extra, few extra hits to their combo. Hagar is just the two. We're heading up the elevator. Look at him going in. He can barely fit. Oh, so that's why they were originally going to put Hagar in the elevator and Karen's level in, uh, Kareen's level in Street Fighter V. Because he's taking the elevator here. That's adorable. I want to see all the unlockables after, too. Just the fact that I'm apparently unlocking all sorts of stuff makes me, makes me so giddy. Go. Oh. Wait, I didn't press, I didn't press the spin button. Come on, come on. No, they're all hurting me. They, I love how quickly you can do that. Arcade games are great. I used to be like, like, I used to, as a kid, be like, why would I ever play an arcade game that doesn't give you 
the tickets to win prizes, you know, like a Chuck E. Cheese or whatever. But now that I am a respectable adult, I'm definitely of the mind that, like, well, those games are just for money. These games are works of art. This came out in 1989, so, like, back in the day, this would have been super cool, you know? And then the Super Nintendo version is totally different. So if you want to you pick that up on, I think it's on the Wii U, actually, or the it's definitely on the Wii. Um, but, like, you know, it's cool. Back when, back when games could just be mindless fun. And Final Fight is not a forgotten series. Like, it, it gets more cameos than, like, F-Zero does. I feel like a lot of people, you know, would look at this and be like, why, you know, it's kind of a, kind of a dead series, but nah, man. No, nah, this series ain't dead. It's only relegated to cameos, but it's definitely not dead and forgotten. I think we'll get an, a Final Fight Mania sometime in the future. I think it just makes sense. You know, this game has an audience. Keep getting these guys. And I mean, like, look, H Hagar and Metro City are major components of the story-based Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite story mode, so, like, that's kind of a big deal, I feel. Oh, there's gotta be something behind here. Maybe not? Okay. Oh, look at this area. I love their little jump kicks in, in tandem. It's great! Okay, can, can, can you stop? Can you stop? Really? I couldn't even get out of there. The, um, all the, the, the game over screens in this game are, are really amazing. I mean, I, I haven't commented on it yet, but Hagar blowing up the dynamite is, is great. I feel like I'm doing the most damage by just, I think it's just a knockdown when they do that, but... And I totally walked into that. Well, when I come back, it seems like that, that's how I'm kind of getting through this. I mean, that is one way. Yeah, let's bait it and then go forward. There we go. This guy, keep going though. Yeah! Every time I see the barrels. Oh, how, how, there was no barrels on the other side. How did that even happen? Okay, so let's keep going. Alright. I really recommend uh, checking out the YouTube video, The Ballad of Mike Hagar. It's an amazing video. It was shared by Capcom. It wasn't made by them, but shared by them, I remember. And it's literally about Mike Hagar preventing Ragnarok by suplexing Odin. Which... This came out way before, um, Marvel vs. Capcom 3, and yet, you know, now it's like, that's really on point for what's happening now in the Marvel Cinematic Universe, so. I think there was also talks about a Final Fight movie being made? I can't really see how that'd work, but then again, you know, I'd rather them not, because every street- I- the- it's funny, like, st the Street Fighter movies have ranged from, yeah, I like it, I kind of ironically, uh, like in the original, to this is the worst thing ever, like The Legend of Chun-Li. I would never recommend anyone watch The Legend of Chun-Li. It's really, really bad. I cannot believe how badly they screwed up literally everything Street Fighter is known for. There's like four Street Fighter characters in the movie, and two of them are the only ones that look right, and those are Balrog, and like, Arguably Vega? And then, like, Gen looks way too young. M. Bison's a young, like, businessman. Vega is, like, or Vega is, um, like a cyborg ninja. And, like, Chun Li's, like, pretty darn white looking. And it's like, how did that happen? How? Can we finish this with a million and a half points? Because that'd be pretty dope. It's a good number. We're almost there, so I think it can happen. Oh, there we go. We totes made it. Alright. Oh, is this it? Well, after these two. Yeah, I gotta do more suplexes. It's two hits and press back. And then, yeah, yeah, it's when the knife goes down and stops stops it from blowing up, which is great. Okay, so we're gonna go hit... Nope. 
so yeah, you want a suplex if there's dudes behind you. You want to... And also, it's a German suplex, which, if you are a fan of that move, I really, really, really recommend you watch the uh, new American Power Rangers movie, which is not bad. I must preface that I thought it was going to be terrible, and I actually ended up really liking it. <gasps> Belcher, more like Beep Belder. Or Belcher, more like. So yeah, Belger, final boss. We're going up to him. Let's beat him. Oh darn it. I was hoping to hit those back, but nope. Actually, these guys aren't too bad. One wants to sort of know how to deal with them, and by that I mean I am not doing that right now, except when I throw him through the fire. Alright. These guys are the worst! Oh, that's so cool! Do, doing the, 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 the jumping hit into two characters, that's great. Alright, and... Oh, I was gonna say, we're gonna need another life. I was too quick on the draw. Let's go. I feel like I'm doing pretty good for, for a guy who's literally never played Final Fight before, and whose history with beat-em-ups is slightly more than normal. I went to a friend's house in London, actually one year ago, and he had a arcade cabinet in his house with just full of games, and I played a couple of really weird beat-em-ups. There's this one that I couldn't even describe. It's like pre pre lan pre la pre and it was like possibly the weirdest video game I've ever played. Totally indescribable. Nothing makes sense. Horrible translation. Also got scary at parts, but it's like gener it's such a weird game. Beautiful sprites, mind you, but the weirdest thing ever. I can't even remember the game. It's like it's all two letters put together like pre la re la rupa or something. If anyone knows about this game, you know exactly what I'm talking about. And if you don't, then you have no idea what I'm talking about. Give me the meat. Barbecue. And some chicken. For two players, that's why there's two there. Ah, the roof. Oh, there's Belger! The rooftop, uh... Rooftop cathedral. Because, you know... Why not? Dude in a mechanical wheelchair. Aw, oh, dude, he's actually... How are you supposed to hit him? He has the power of full 3D movement! Literally impossible! And we gotta not punch our daughter, because that would be bad. Oh! We got him out! Hopefully he can't, like, grab her or something. Stop that. Can I grab him? Is it possible to grab bosses? I feel like it should be, but hopefully he can't get back into his chair because that would really suck. How are you supposed to do this? Oh my god, he could shoot at an angle? That's next level tech. Oh yeah. Oh, I was gonna grab it and do the dunk. Come on, we got this. Nearly there. Ugh, but he gets up and immediately shoots. And he immediately shoots. No, stop, I need to use my chest. There we go. I can't believe my chest can deflect arrows. Yeah! Oh, there we go. Beef caked him out the window. Hagard. That doesn't even make much sense. Hey, wait, is Hagard a word? Oh, hey, look, there's Guy and Cody. You guys helped. We rescued our daughter, Jessica. Oh, father, I was so scared. I am so glad to see they didn't hurt you. I'm so sorry, Jessica. I thought I'd lost you like I'd lost your mother. Oh, it's a surprisingly touching ending. I'll never let anything bad happen to you again. I love you, father. Adorable. Hagar's best dad in video games. You throw Hagar in Tekken 7 and all of a sudden Tekken 7 is a game about good dads. So I think if you play, I don't know if, you, if it's going to be shown here, but if you play, as, oh Ackerman was on this. If you play as Cody, I think, it goes into a thing like, 
how Cody kind of set this up because he's just addicted to fighting. And, like, there's a deep sort of scary thing of, like, Cody is kind of a, like, a just a guy who wants to beat everyone up. And that's not good. <laughs> I like this Mega Man 7 ending, though. Jessica's there. G Cody! Look at go Wait! Why would you do that guy? <gasps> they give smoochies. Oh wait, I think this is it. Where are you going? How can you just walk away now? Because he wasn't doing it for you. I want to stay here with you, Jessica. But I can't. Not while evil still stalks the streets. That's funny, because then he went to Street Fighter. And, aw, adorable. Game over. Oh, I couldn't put in my name. I didn't even see that up there. Oh, well. There we go. Well, let's take a look at some of these extras that we got. So we got, uh... Let's see here. Oh, we got a comic. Street Fi Oh, Street Fighter vs. Final Fight's in here. That's cool. Is it just all, is it just pages, or let's see here, R1? Oh, just, just two pages. That's cool, that's a nice addition. It's got Poison Fan Art. Street Fighter 2 Turbo Volume 6. Kinda weird, there's Street Fighter Unlockables. Tier 2, we got Saddam Fan Art. Original Arcade Cabinet, that's cool. I love this sort of stuff now. West Side, we unlocked uh, Final Fight Fred End Art. Hagar and Hagar's wife? Well, that doesn't look like either of them. Well, I mean, well, we don't know what she looks like, but... Guy, comic card, Axel, comic with Hagar. Who's this? The proper teams in their BAFTA award. Hagar and Cody. Hagar. Oh, we got a couple here. We got Hagar versus, uh, Zangief. That's good. <gasps> There's my boy! His hair is not shaped like a maple leaf in that one. That makes me sad. Street Fighter 2 Turbo. Got more Street Fighter. That's good. Udon Comics are always great to have unlockable. Ah, uh, it doesn't look like we unlocked the, uh... I don't think we unlocked the, 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 the video. Well, darn it. I think it's get this many points in, in Uptown. I think that's how you do it. Well, thank you all for watching, guys. And, uh, yeah. Final fight. This was my final fight with having my teeth pulled out. I think I did pretty good for a guy whose mouth is jacked up right now. So we'll see you next time for some more stuff. Ciao.